Hi guys, so I'm just here in training today, I'm training one of the girls up doing laser hair removal and we're just about to do the full face laser hair removal so I said I'd come on and open it up for anybody out there who's working in the aesthetic industry or looking to get into the aesthetic industry and you want to find out how to do treatments um, you can tune in now and see the full face um, being done so I have Claire here, Claire actually works uh, in the clinic, she's one of our specialists so she's kindly volunteered to allow us to um, use her as a guinea pig today <laughs> so um, I'll probably get just one of the girls to could you hold the phone for me while we get this done. I'm just going to need to um, flip it around. Or actually, yeah, we'll flip it around. So, yeah, perfect. Okay, so I've already cleansed the area. We've applied the gel. I'm just going to probably apply a little bit more gel to this area here. Um, so, Gel is what we would use for our small hand piece and it's used as a conductor for the energy. But also um, we get a nice glide with the hand piece as we're going along the face. For the client's purpose, if you're using this in your clinic, I always recommend have it coming from a fridge um, for your client's comfort as well because they're going to get that bit of cooling before the treatment happens. You just been nice and cool there now, Claire? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so skin type 2 and light and light. Half and move on to the far side. Always get your clients to always first put a mask, uh, I mean a hair <laughs> a mop cap on your client's um, hair so you're not going to you know catch any of the pigmented hair on their heads and um, that's very important that you're going to only treat the area that you want to be treating and don't pick up any extra hairs so always move your client to the position that you need to be so that you're comfortable um, you need to be in full control when doing your treatments and know that you're comfortable before you apply any energy into your client's skin so taking a section by section, I'm now going to start at the forehead. Um, so Claire, if you let me know what your pain scale is, I'm going to do one or two shots here, mm -hmm. and then we're going to stop and just see how you're feeling, okay? Yeah. Before we go, I just need to just pop these goggles on. Perfect. Okay. So the more pressure I apply, the more comfortable it's going to be. What's your pain scale here at five? 0 0.5. 0 0.5. Yeah. So I'm just avoiding the hairline here. Doing okay? Yeah, about one now. Okay, if you need a break, let me know, okay? Yeah. Um, so, what I always, always recommend is never go too close to the eyebrows. Um, certainly across our tree clinics, we we don't. Um, if you can just lift it up again, we don't um, we don't shape eyebrows because we, so we don't want to come too close. We want to stay a good centimeter away from the eyebrows. When it comes to a male having their facial areas done, centre brow is a very popular area. So yes, we would do the centre brow for males. Um, but we need to be really careful when we're getting too close to the eyebrows. So this is roughly the distance that we would stay away. The full face is a very popular area to have done in our clinics, um, especially for um, Asian clients would get a lot of that like black downy hair on the face. So something that you're definitely going to be seeing a lot of and if you're operating in the clinic yourself for anybody watching um, you'll usually get a lot of Asian women who want to have the face done it's going to consist of having the full face done from the forehead right down into the lower neck okay Claire, we're going to just come across here now we've finished the forehead I'm just going to start now at the side lock here and we're going to work our way down towards the jawline okay 
taking it section by section. First, I would treat the um, the side locks coming out to about here. So we're looking at about two strips down to meet where the neck um, finishes up here with the jawline. If it's your preference, you could mark this area out with a pencil, with a white pencil. Never use a dark pencil because the laser is drawn to the pigment. So mark out the side lock, mark out the jawline and the chin. And you could put like a little line here to just section off the, um, the cheeks into like an X. So you've got four boxes, which just kind of help map it out, you know, if it's something that you're only new to doing. But as you become used to doing laser treatments, you don't necessarily need to be drawing these bits because you have to wipe them off at the end of the treatment and you don't need to be too aggressively cleaning the skin after a treatment and your client isn't going to be too happy going out with any pencil marks on their skin. So if you are drawing any grids, put them on really, really lightly so they come off nice and easy after treatment. So we're just going to start here now on the, the jaw. Are you okay there, Claire? Mm -hmm. Okay, so being careful that we're not coming too far up on the side locks as well, that we defect the natural hairline. So only where the clients have prepared for a treatment where they've shaved or trimmed the area down. With this laser, we can treat over any hairs. The hairs need to be clean shaved the night before treatment. Um, depending on what laser you're operating, you might need a little bit of growth on the area. But in our case, we don't want to see any visible hairs. So that's the side locks done. I'm now going to start from the chin. So the chin area usually will finish up in line with the side of the lip. So if we have a look here. And the edge of the lip coming straight down to here is roughly where we will start the jawline out to where we finish the side locks. So we're going to take it from this direction because I can see fully what I'm doing here and I'm going to come back towards me. So that's the side locks done. We're going to be treating the lip from basically the fold is your, your guideline on the lip. Does that make sense? Are you following this all right? Yeah. yeah. So we're going to follow the the folds on the lip. So the nasal labial folds is our, our line for the lip area. So we know that's as far as we're treating to. So I'm just going to come outside of that without treating the jawline and the side locks where I've just treated. I'm now going to come across this section and work my way up towards the eyes. We'll never come um, past the bone here on the eyes, we can never go inside here. We need to stay outside of it. We can treat right on the bone, but not inside. Okay, so Claire, I'm just gonna start here. Now, because I'm close to the seats, if you wanna pop your tongue just underneath here, mm -hmm. it's gonna just make it a little bit more comfortable for you, okay? So I'm actually gonna work up this section here first. Okay, and now we're going to just come from here, clear, and we're going to work out towards the side locks, okay? Mm -hmm. What's your pain scale out of five? A one. A one, okay. So like that clears just the feeling a little bit more in the bones, which is very normal along the bony areas, like when you're having your legs done along the chin area, you can um, feel it a little bit more. For anybody who's looking for more information around, um, like if you're looking, if you're only setting out for laser, or if you're somebody who owns a business and you've got a team of girls who you want to become more knowledgeable on protocols behind treatments, how to educate their clients correctly, I've actually done a five part um, training series five modules on laser hair removal that I can actually leave the link uh, in the description below this video for anybody who wants to learn more about it. It'll definitely um, get you set up with the right information and the protocols to use during treatments, how to um, set the right protocols of ACE, um, the client selection, we go through client selection, how the hair cycle works, um, selecting what milliseconds you should be using towards um, the gels that you're using on clients, how this is so important during treatment, the delivery time on the energy that you're using to get the desired result for your clients. Um, so anyone looking for that information, you can access it in the link below um, today's video.
you can get you started today for free. If you like the first module, you can continue on and do the other four then afterwards. So we finished good parts of the face now. I'm now going to go on and do the chin. So I'm just going to take from the center of the chin because the girl I'm training today is actually going to treat the far side. So I'm going to leave this section out. But if you're treating your pants, you can pretty much take it from one side over to another for the chin and the lip rather than splitting them in half. But also I still like sometimes to do it in half because you'll turn your client's head then when you want to work on the far sides so you're in full control of your handpiece. So starting out, I definitely recommend to be splitting this area in, in two sections. So like this, I'll turn clear slightly this way so I can see exactly where I'm working. So remember, we treat the jawline from where the lip ends here. So I now need to take this section from here to the center of the chin. You doing okay, Claire? Yeah. always ensuring that there's full contact so you can see I'm going to be adjusting the hand piece right the way through to make sure that I know I haven't got the hand piece coming off the skin in any way that I have full contact where it's completely um, tight on the skin. Doing okay? Okay, I think we're disconnecting there a few times, so it probably went off when you guys started that. Um, just when we're in the room, the connection isn't too strong. So usually on the lip, um, two is enough to fit in that area. You'll generally not fit three pulses in. So starting from the, the fold over here, right at the edge of the lip, you'll dot them up one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And that's that area done. Um, so this is the size of the handpiece that we're using. Guys, so I'm just going to cut this really short. If you guys have any questions on laser hair removal, leave them in the comments below this video. As I said, I'll leave the link for the five modules of laser hair removal training. Also in the link below for anybody who's looking to up their skills, either get into the industry or somebody who's a business owner and you need that platform where you can train your, your team from. Any questions then let me know and thanks for watching today and I'll see you guys tomorrow.